What is a stop sign? Is it an implication, a command, an instruction? Why do humans react to colors in particular ways? And most importantly, why are we so discomforted to see something like this? These are things I wanted to know. There are two fundamental aspects to a sign. Signified over signifier. This model, developed by Saussure, is what is known as signification. A sign in front of a store with the text open is the signifier, while the signified concept is that the store is open for business. While this may seem elementary, this theory can be applied to any set of signs or signifiers. Take for instance, the light on the side of a house. Here, there are far more signifiers than you would see in an advertisement, yet each element of this picture can be broken down into concrete ideas. You're getting like 11 thousand bits of sen sensory information into your brain from all your different systems at a time. And as far as what you can be aware of, you can only attend to about 11 of those bits. The light on the side of the house signifies that the sun is still out. The color of the trees that it's a warm climate. Or maybe you think to yourself, they must get good reception. Of course there are extremes. At one end of the spectrum, you have abstract art images that leave the perceiver to decide what the image signifies. The more ambiguous, the more the viewer has to work to extract meaning. Abstract expressionists, such as Barnett Newman, used color and shape to create extremely minimal designs. The way a subject might interpret these pieces of work is analogous to the way someone interprets any other sign or advertisement. Visual processing is our primary sense. About 30% of our brain is involved in visual processing. Take these images, for example. How do they make you feel? If you experience the emotions of anger, passion, or energy, that's because red is known to induce these types of feelings. Black is associated with power, death, evil, and mystery. These images use far fewer colors than many advertisements, so imagine the types of overwhelming reactions people have to brightly colored commercials or billboards. This probably means nothing to you. But what about this? Or this? It's human nature to seek out and attach meaning. Without meaning, our accomplishments, like cleaning the house or getting a promotion, would have no value. Language, in its most crude form, is a series of symbols. Letters alone have almost no intrinsic meaning, but when construed in a particular manner, they have the ability to manifest in an infinite amount of meanings. What do these concepts have to do with anything practical, you might ask? Advertising. Advertising agencies use color, type, and an endless amount of symbols in order to convey their message. Selecting the appropriate images while taking into consideration the context of the advertisements is the difference between success and failure. Probably the most important part in advertising is making sure that you're reaching the right people with the right message, in the right tone, with the right texture, with the right timbre, to ensure that you're going to achieve a likability and an insight to the message that you are putting forth before those folks. As a result, the first part of advertising is all about research, consumer research, focus group research, qualitative research, quantitative research, all designed to weed out all the components that are not striking the fancy of the intended user. Uh, and all designed to find more touch points or foundations to reach that individual or group of individuals with a message that relates to them on emotional and pragmatic levels. Next time you look at an advertisement in a magazine or on TV, think about what type of person would be reading that article or watching that show. Try to think about how that advertisement seeks to attach itself to the potential consumer. What is the advertisement trying to get you to do, and how do you know this? If you see a woman wearing a sleek dress, ask yourself, what does she symbolize, and how do I know this? Through symbols, the power of influence can be dangerously immense. Every day we are being constantly impaled by torrents of advertisements, in the news, on the radio, on the internet, and on our drive to work. Even when we don't realize it, we're being researched and dissected, taken apart, and analyzed. As soon as we realize how we're being affected, we can start to understand the tricks that advertisements employ and therefore begin to make objective and correct decisions. If we can do this, we can negate the subconscious influence all types of advertisements have on us and do things because they're right, not because someone says so.